very, very important thing to know is there are two entirely different states. There's r rapid eye movement sleep. This is also dreaming sleep where the brain is very active. Uh, this, this state maybe doesn't have very much to do with feeling sleepy. Then the, the rest of sleep, which is about 75% of the total sleep time, uh, is sort of denigrated by calling it non-REM sleep. I was the one who gave them these names years ago, and I, I sort of wish I'd made it a little more important. But anyway, there's REM sleep and non-REM sleep, uh, and they cycle through the night with a periodicity of about 90 minutes. So you, you, when you go to sleep, you go into a state. I like to think the brain is idle. The brain is never inactive, never turns off. It's is sort that of really? idling. So it never, ever turns no, off. No, no. The cells are always firing, but but you know it's greater or lesser. So you go to sleep. The brain, I like to think, is idling. That's non-REM sleep. And then about an hour later to 90 minutes, uh, you have your first period of rapid eye movement sleep, which is dreaming sleep. Now, in this state, the brain, without any help from the environment, without any sensory input, without any uh, awareness of movement, creates a world that you live in. You live in the dream world. which And some, some people say, a dream is real while it lasts. Can we say more of life? Wow. Which I think is quite a profound statement. And then, you know, in a sense, it's true. Uh, some people realize they're dreaming. Uh, but not everybody? No, oh, no the, small, the largest fraction are in a dream and don't realize it's a dream. Uh, there is a relatively small group of people called lucid dreamers who know they're dreaming while they're dreaming. And to s some of them develop the ability to control the dream. But do you only dream during REM sleep? It's a slightly controversial, but I think the, the data pretty much support that you only dream, you have a, you're in a real world in REM sleep. And do now, most people always sometimes sleep? Sometimes you wake in person during non-REM yeah. sleep and they give you a, you say, was anything going on in your mind? And they will say something that sounds like a dream, but that's relatively rare, and it's rare enough to think it's just you know, an accident or, you know, relatively meaningless. I, I do not, I personally believe, completely believe that dreaming takes place during rapid eye movement sleep. The eyes are moving rapidly and uh, the movements are binocularly synchronous, just as if you're awake. And, and once, the, the most convincing dream I ever had was a, uh, the eyes move back and forth 26 times. And you can, the eyeball is a battery. The yeah. retina is negative about 70 millivolts to the cornea so that if you look to the right, then this side of the head becomes positive you, to the other side and you have two electrodes, then a potential difference occurs between them. You can easily record it. But at any rate, 26 back and forth eye movements, very regular. I wasn't intending to awaken the subject, but I did. And I said, what were you dreaming about? I said, I was sitting by the side of a ping pong table watching my brother and a friend have a long rally. Wow. Approximately 20. So I, I actually did that then in the waking state and recorded the eye moves exactly the same. So in the dream, he's watching the ball go back and forth and the eyes are moving accordingly. So the... Uh, all the other muscles, except uh, the diaphragm, of course, are paralyzed. And when you are in rapid eye movement sleep, the brain is telling the body to move. And another system that is connected with rapid eye movement sleep is turning off the motor systems. So you are, in effect, paralyzed in the rapid eye movement sleep, except for your diaphragm in some of the throat muscles, and of course the eye muscles. What about people that like do that in their sleep? Well, that's unusual and that might, is usually not in REM sleep. Although sometimes a dream is, is so intense that the signals to move 
a limb or the body will overcome the inhibition. So what paralysis. about when people laugh or cry in their sleep? What is Well, usually that's in non-REM sleep. Non -REM if you sleep. actually speak intelligent sentences, probably that's REM sleep. You know, you're, but usually what you get in non-REM sleep is, Mama, I'm good to Mama. <laughs> you know, the, one of the issues was, is the sleep pattern more or less the same every night? And it, it is more or less the same. You know, you, you have a period of non-REM sleep, then you have a period of REM sleep. REM periods get longer in the night, uh, get longer the later in the night they occur. So sometimes you will dream for an entire hour toward the end of the night. And uh, I tell students in my class that if they want to see the rapid eye movements, they should get up at six o'clock and go over to their roommate and, and look at their eyes. And the chances are about 50-50, they will see rapid eye movements. Wow. Now, uh, I wanted to increase the number. And when I left the University of Chicago, where I'd done all these studies uh, to be an intern in a hospital, I went around the hospital at night and, and looked at patients to see if their eyes were moving. You know, I were they that, moving? And so I'd see it, you know, I, I expected to see maybe a fourth of the time I would see a, a patient uh, with the rapid eye moves. I, and I saw enough to confirm that, yeah, everybody does this. But one night, patient opened his eyes and <laughs> said, are you the angel of death? <laughs> <laughs> And what'd you say? No, I'm just here to make no, no, sure no, you're I'm just, right. I'm just a curious, just watching over you. I can see I'm, how that would I'm kind the of angel of life. <laughs>